I'm Drodio, the CEO of Storytel. I'd like to show you how Storytel can help you have real conversations with your data so you can understand what's actually going on. If like most people, you need to work with all sorts of different data types. Maybe you're working with a company priorities report and some marketing data around an event. Maybe there is some Excel data around product features. And it doesn't do a lot of good to be looking at it like this, like what is in each of these files and how do you make sense of it all together, especially when it's incompatible data types. Let's try loading them into Storytel. You can easily add files just by uploading them or we've got upcoming integrations. When I load files into Storytel, I can see them as a list of assets, just like I would on my computer, but Storytel automatically pulls the concepts out of the file. These are the concepts coming from all of those files that are living across the files. Sales, deal management and analytics, AI powered investment platform, fast invest AI investment platform. These are concepts living in these files. So you don't have to just look at a list of file names. Now instead you can see all the concepts that live inside them. Not only can you see the concepts, you can work with them. I need to know if we will reach our, and then I can at mention, and I can say, for example, our 2025 company priorities, that's an asset here, based on based on the progress being made building our, and then I can add mention, not just an asset, but a concept. And we can see here that we have auto improving prompts on. This means that what I wrote will automatically be improved by Storytel. Here is the improved version of the prompt. If I don't like the better version, I can just undo that change. I can also change from auto to on. And when I do this, the auto improvement actually happens above. So I can see my original question down here, and then I can see the better version of the prompt up here. So here is a better version of the prompt that I can use if I'd like to, or I can stick with the one that I wrote. If I like this recommended prompt, but I wanna make some changes, I can just edit it. And now I've got it right here. Maybe I wanna tell Storytel to also search the web for other AI investment platforms and give me an analysis of how ours compares to the competition. You can see that I'm working with these two things in scope. One is a document, one is a concept. If I wanna change more, I can include all of my knowledge or I can choose other things to include in scope, maybe other assets that I've uploaded. But for now, let's just send this. I can choose a specific large language model to answer the question or I can just let Storytel select the best one. All right, let's go. We can see that Storytel is giving me details on what it's doing. It's going to generate a plan to answer my question. It's searching through my knowledge. It's searching the web. And now it's going to generate an artifact with the answer to my questions. Storytel provides me this beautiful output right on the right side. I can also see what tools Storytel chose for the job. It chose to do an internal knowledge base search and a public web search, and then it chose to generate an artifact as output. And here is this artifact right here. It is beautiful. It's giving me company goals update, performance against 2025 priorities, risk analysis, competitive benchmarking, recommendations and action items. I can also edit this in here. This is the most important part, team. I can copy or download Storytel's output and share it with others as a PDF. I can see citations about where the data came from and I can go to those documents. I can edit certain parts in chat. Maybe I want to say this part right here, expand on this part of the document. Give me more detail on how we can accomplish this based on our top user requested features. And again, there's a better version of the question up here for me if I want it. This is just the beginning of what you can do with Storytel because with Storytel, you can create actions to make your results repeatable. Let's imagine when I started that instead of uploading files, I had integrated with a Google Drive folder or a Zoom account, or I'd connected my data via MCP server. If I ask a question of that data and I really like the result, I could say, whenever there's new source data, I want to run this query and then send an SMS or an email or create a document or send the result to some other system of record. And this is where Storytel gets powerful because I can take noisy source data, like an entire folder of content. Anytime a new document shows up in that folder, I can run this as an action and I can have the result be sent to me or to my team or to another system of record. We use this at Storytel to look at logs and then write signal to HubSpot records as an example. It's a really powerful way to use Storytel on a repeatable basis. So that's Storytel. We'd love to know how you're using it. 
tell us what you'd like to see. It's a way to have real conversations with your data so you can understand what's actually going on. Because really, without the narrative, data, it's just noise.